Hi guys and welcome back to Macaroon. I'm Joanna and in this video I'll show you three extremely cute DIYs using different crafting methods. If you're new here, then please remember to subscribe to Macaroon and Cute Life Hacks. For the first DIY, you'll need a soft boiled egg, some spray paint, white craft glue, uncooked rice, and fake flowers. The first step is to cut the egg open as high up as you can. Then very carefully scoop out the inside without breaking the shell. You might as well do this part at breakfast time since you can eat it while you're working. Once the egg is empty, wash it thoroughly using warm soapy water and leave it to dry. If you notice any bits of shell flaking away, then you can stick it back into place with craft glue. Now cover the whole egg with gold spray paint. If you don't have any, then you can also use nail polish, acrylic paint, chalkboard paint, or any other method that you like here. Once the eggshell is fully dry, take your fake flowers and find a few that will look nice inside. Trim the stems if needed and set these aside. Now pour some uncooked rice into a bowl. Add some craft glue and mix until everything is evenly coated. Carefully fill up your eggshell with this mixture and arrange your flowers inside. I prefer this method because it's really cheap and effective, but of course you can also use air dry clay, play doh, or plasticine instead. Make sure that whatever you use to fill your eggshell is slightly heavy so it doesn't tip over easily. Now take a pen and mark out a circle of dots on the bottom of the egg. Add a tiny blob of hot glue to each one, making sure that you pull any excess glue towards the inner center of the egg. If you don't have hot glue, then you can also stand the egg up using clay or blue tack. And now your cute eggshell planter is ready. It looks great as room decor and you can actually make loads of these using one bunch of fake flowers. Now the next DIY is going to be an old school needle felt tutorial. A lot of people said they missed this, so I'm going to use the same ASMR editing style as when I first started YouTube. There's no talking or music, so please enjoy.
So this brings us to our final DIY. I've always wanted to try out resin because you can get so many adorable kits for this kind of craft. I've linked this one and many others in the description box below. This is the first time I've ever used resin, so I'm sure there are a few mistakes in here, but it also proves how easy this crafting method is. To get started, you'll need lots of toothpicks and a plastic surface to mix on. I'm using UV resin, which is very convenient since you don't have to mix anything and it hardens quickly in sunlight. Start by taking out these pigment powders. Place a small amount onto your plastic and be careful not to get anything on your skin. These colors are super concentrated, so they are hard to get off even with soap and water. Now add some resin and begin mixing to create an orange color. This resin is actually a bit stickier than it should be because I kept my bottle for too long, but if you get fresh resin then you'll notice that it's easier to work with. I realized that I had to add some white powder as well to make the correct shade. Now take the clear cake mold that also comes with the kit and fill the bottom part up with resin. This layer should be about 2 or 3 millimeters thick. If you're really interested in working with resin, then it's worth getting a UV lamp for curing your pieces. However, since I'm a noob, I simply decided to use sunlight for this. Apparently it's supposed to take 30 minutes, but I simply left it for 5 minutes and it worked perfectly fine. Once the resin is hard to touch, you can continue with the next step. Mix up a small batch of red and then use a toothpick to create tiny strawberries just above the cake layer. Then leave it to cure again. Next, make some white resin and fill it so the berries are just covered. Let this cure again for a few minutes and then add the final layer of cake. I would recommend making a big batch of orange resin so you can simply use the same color again. I ended up having to do mine in two steps so it was a bit time consuming to create the same shade again. This time you should fill the container almost to the very top. After curing the final layer, fill the top up with white. This is called doming because you want to use just enough resin so it creates a smooth dome shape over the top. Use a toothpick to pull the resin into all the corners, but be careful not to let it spill over the sides. After this step, I let the cake cure for about 20 minutes just to make sure everything is fully hardened. Then use extra resin to attach the decorations. I really like the fact that these kits give you everything you need so you don't have to think too much about the design. It's extremely relaxing to do. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of is the smell of resin. It has quite a sharp, plasticky smell and you should only use it in a well-ventilated room. Now cure your piece one last time and your resin cake is done. If you want to, you can always attach a jump ring to turn it into a charm or necklace, but I decided to leave mine the way it is. I was really pleased with how this turned out because it's a lot faster and easier than clay or needle felt. So I really hope you enjoyed this cute DIY compilation. If you want to learn more about felting, then I have so many tutorials on that which I've linked below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!